Radio Bank Stadium in Jonesboro, Arkansas. ESPN3 presents college football. Tonight, it's a showdown in the Sun Belt as the UL Monroe Warhawks take on the Arkansas State Red Wolves. On the play fake, Thomas in trouble. Here comes the pressure, and down he goes. Chris Stone, the bandit, slash defensive end. On that first drive, Brock, you could see that Arkansas State is really trying to move the ball, get in and out of the huddle. And Freddie Knighton finds Dijon Pascoe for the first down and more as he's forced out of bounds inside. He's getting the signals from the sideline. On second down and five, Thomas Bob with the snap. Here comes the pressure and down he goes. Xavier Woodson credited with the brings up third down and 12. Thomas swings it out to Tyler Kane, who bobbles it, makes the grab, and then Xavier Woodson makes back-to-back -back tackles. Be afraid of Knighton getting him out of the pocket on some rolls. Knighton hit as he throws, ball is batted around, and it's intercepted by Mitch Lane of ULM. And for the 31st yards per carry at over seven yards a carry in a game that season. Fumbles the football, ball loose on the ground, picked up by Arkansas State, and they say the play is dead. They say the play is dead. No turnover picked up by Arkansas. Headset. The ball was fumbled prior to being down. The ball was recovered at the 28 yard line by Arkansas State. Already you can see the kind of athletes that the Warhawks have. Michael Gordon on the end around sweep, and he is forced out of bounds, but not before he gets the first words on the year coming into this game tonight. Knighton on first and 10 has to scramble. Pass midfield inside ULM territory and forced out of bounds. Jamison prefers that than just throwing the ball up. And a reverse from Gordon to J.D. McKissick. This is what he does best as the A back. He can both catch the... Don't, don't quite know the Greek alphabet, do you? Fumble, <laughs> fumble on the play by Freddie Knighton and it's recovered by Louisiana Monroe. Justin, no, it's a Cordero's. off this week. They have New Mexico State at home next weekend. Here's Tyler Kane. He covers the football. Oh, picked up by Arkansas State. Kishon Lee passes on top of it for him. Plays like that, you got to establish the run a little more before anybody buys it. Knighton feels the pressure over the middle, wide right open ground made by Deshaun Pesco, and he's got the first down for Arkansas State. Thomas out of the pocket. He thinks the pressure. And he goes. Caleb Caston, number 54, the defensive. End. Front three for Todd Berry's 3 3 5 defense as Knighton hits as he throws. Finds JD McKissick on the run. He's got the first down and more. Down the sideline he goes and he's down to the 30 yard line. You kind of throw the ball in any part of the field that you want to. There comes the pressure and down goes Thomas. Arkansas State ball, but deep in its own territory. Michael Gordon on 19. Jaron Johnson. Knighton over the middle finds J.D. McKissick, the A-back, has the first down, and more as he's ankle tackled from behind. Time ago, came back, felt this was the right time to take that first head coaching job as Michael Gordon breaks the tackle and has all kinds of daylight. One man to beat, and he's taken down to the three-yard line. It'll be first down and goal to go for Arkansas State. Down with him <laughs> inside the five. Freddie Knight, another quarterback keeper, jogs into the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas State. Freddie Knight, his third rushing touchdown of the season. Third down and six. Thomas feels the pressure. Steps up, hit as he throws. Hit by Rocky Hayes as he threw the football. It's incomplete. Huge hit by. Little screen set up for Michael Gordon. He's got it. Has some room. It is a first down. Knighton goes inside on a quick slant. It goes to J.D. McKissick, and he gets the first down across to the 40 to the 30. Trips to the left on third and nine. Knighton to the right side finds Trace Houston. He has the first down inside the 20. It goes down to the 13 yard line. Part of this offense here this year. Knighton. Goes to the end zone, passes, cut by Tyler Trocine. Touchdown, Arkansas State. Arkansas State. Just a nice ball. 
If you if you watch pregame, you see the receiver and the quarterback do this all pregame. Just throw the ball where only the receiver can catch it. So seeing focused on the ball. Nice grab. In the hounds of the howl. Here at Red Wolves Centennial Bank Stadium. And here is Michael Gordon breaking loose. Down the right, left sideline. There he goes out of bounds. And he's forced out. And nothing Arkansas State with a lead. Knighton throws and is picked off by Justin Bacchus. Bacchus on the return. That's the third turnover. And so now Pete Thomas and UL Monroe will try and cut this lead in half if they can. Thomas going to air it out down the middle. Wide open at Jalen Holly. He will not be touched. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Louisiana Monroe. Four wide receivers for Knighton to work with on second down and seven, and Knighton keeps it himself. Has a first down, breaks some tackles. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas State. Freddie Knighton with his second rushing touchdown of the night. Freddie Knighton does it again. His third touchdown of the night, his second rushing the football. 21-7 ASU. Deep man for, it's a fake, and Mantle throws it. Short of the first down, Harley Ciano, the backup tight end, caught it. He didn't even go. I didn't. Come on, one more. There is Michael Gordon trying to turn the corner and trying to perhaps put this one in the books. It's already a two touchdown. Now it's remaining 9:20 to go. Knighton keeps it himself. He will go to the corner and score. Touchdown, Freddie Knighton, his third rushing touchdown of the night, and his fourth overall in the game. Once again, a fake to Gordon. Everybody goes with him. Nice block on the edge by Darian Griswold. Brown in the hurry up finds a wide open Kenzie Jackson, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, ULM. Sunbelt and beats Louisiana Monroe 28 to 14. Defensively, Arkansas State and their fans should be happy. They have a defense to go along with a growing offense in Freddie Knighton, a healthy J.D. McKenzie and Michael Gordon back. Makes for a very dangerous team and a great possibility of winning their fourth conference championship.